Mm. And welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me. Where today I am reviewing the Dirty Pear OVA, which is fun distilled to a state of purity that I have rarely seen. It's a straight up action adventure series about two cute girls who are assigned to dangerous missions and usually resolve the problem by blowing it up. This particular OVA was released in the late 80s and is a perfect representative of late 80s anime. Cute girls in revealing outfits, over-the-top sci-fi action, very clear villains, and just a rollicking sense of fun. And that's one thing I love about Dirty Pair. It has this easy-going, hey, let's have some fun tone. The protagonists, Kay and Yuri, not only do massive property damage in every episode, they directly or indirectly kill a lot of people, mostly bad guys, but still. And this is treated as a running gag. The show also features remarkable animation quality, always on model and remarkably subtle. The girl's hair always moves the way it should, and the animators add a lot of little touches of quick glances and subtle movements. In fact, I slowed down the animation in a few sequences, and the animators actually put in a few little surprise reactions to shrapnel flying past and little stimuli in the scene, things that you would not notice just watching it as you go, but add some humanity and reality to the characters' performances. Kay and Yuri's relationship also strengthens the show. They have that natural humor of longtime co-workers where they'll banter and joke and occasionally get each other into trouble, and they trust each other completely. It's lovely that the writers don't try to pitch them against each other, nor suggest that they are blood sisters united through everything. This is actually helped by the English dub. Kay and Yuri's voice actress are actually exactly right all the way through in the English dub. And in the Japanese one, now I don't know Japanese very well, just a little bit here and there, but still the voices sounded odd and uneven. They are overexcited in quiet scenes and drab in action sequences. So. For me, the English dub uh, voice actors really capture the voices extremely well. Overall, the direction is effective, if unexciting, and the action is always quite clear. Also, each episode is a completely self-contained story, which is good in this case because the characters don't have big plot issues to worry about and it keeps the tone light. Overall, I found the Dirty Pair OVA to be fun, light entertainment that's executed very effectively and efficiently without condescension. It knows that it is a light, fun, space opera-like action series, and so it just provides that for every episode, and I'm grateful.